Hi Gemini, how you doing? Before I in, get into this reading, I would just like to point out on on the header, you'll notice that the the weeks have been taken out because karma is so fluid in tarot, and because not everybody's on the same point in their karmic line together, then. You know, you possibly look at this and say, oh, this is June week two, June week three. And I feel some of you are expecting these events to happen in that particular time frame. And if they don't, you're kind of disappointed. So that's not what Tara is all about. It, it just gives energies that's around you at the minute. And what's most likely to happen in a given time frame but it might not be within that week so i'm just going to put june 2020 or july 20, or the month and from now on and you'll know the difference because the title will be different as you move forward i hope you can follow that so here we go Page of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Changes and New Beginnings coming in, Ace of Pentacles, wow, Recent Past, Nine of Swords, Few Heartaches, Few Sleepless Nights. What's crowning you is a feeling of isolation, the Five of Pentacles, a lot of Pentacle energy here. Near future is the hangman. Okay. Yeah, I feel there's new beginnings, a new chance coming in. There's a new offer. Things are changing for you at a fundamental level. I feel the situation <clears throat> you're in at the moment has been brought about because there's been a lot of anxiety in the past and a lot of self-introspection, self-doubt. It's caused you a few sleepless nights and you're wondering what to do about it. And with this page of pentacles and eight of pentacles, ace of pentacles underneath, there's a new offer around you. A new chance to do something different. And what's crowning you is this five of pentacles. Yeah, this, there's new hope here. You see this little flower here? That's new growth out of an old situation. Fives to me in tarot are always changes. Yes, it represents lean times that's caused you a bit of a heartache. But I feel you're coming out of this now. Because you're seeing, you're starting to see things in a different light. You're looking at the much bigger picture. You're, you're taking a step back and actually thinking, you know, what do I have to sacrifice to move on? And I say the word sacrifice because on the bottom of the deck you have the three of swords. So there is some heartache here. And there's the seven of cups. You know, this confusion from this... From this energy here and but there is choices there regards a connection so this this bad phase I feel is is passing through because you're you're going to make a decision to move on to pastures new I feel with this ace of wands I'm going to pull you four more cards. I feel this this isolation and you know this this headaches and this heartache have been brought on by these global lockdowns and the economics of the matter. You know, this with this pentacle energy. I feel this could actually be the start of a new job. 
you know the money's been lean in the past and it's caused a lot of friction yep so you you've been very patient and things have been moving like thick treacle out of a jar it's been very very slow with this knight of pentacles it is the slowest moving but when when it gets there it does have the best results because it's slow it's looked at all the aspects You have been very, very patient. You've been watching, waiting. Uh, and then bang, some news comes in with this Knight of Swords. And it brings in, it comes in from a stuck situation. Four of Pentacles. Something or somebody that was holding something back has all of a sudden decided to come in. And open up, because that's your outcome card. The the not eight of wands. That's a faster pace of life. Things are going to get moving again. More communication is going to come in. You, it can even be travel. See at the bottom of the deck, you have the two of wands. I feel this could be a new connection, connecting to something new. You know, and you're leaving behind this headache. You know, this this thing that's this self doubt that's been causing you a lot of agony in the past, and you're going to move on to much more abundance with the Sun card, and it's going to bring in a. A wish fulfillment for better times, I feel. And you have here the Wheel of Fortune. And that's also all about better times coming, a change of direction. And there's love with the Empress and the World card. So there you have it. Much better times coming in. And I'm going to conclude it on that one. I'm really pleased for you. It's something really nice to look forward to. Bye for now.